And now we'll work on problem 112 from chapter 17. So here we're given, a, we're told a certain amount of acetic acid and sodium acetate are dissolved in solution, and we're asked to calculate the pH. So first, let's calculate Ka, or, or look in our table and find Ka for acetic acid, which is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. And since we're dealing with a buffer, we can go ahead and calculate pKa by taking the negative log, and that would be equal to 4.74. So next, we can calculate the moles of the composite compounds we have present. So moles of acetic acid were given in solution and uh, concentration and volume. So we multiply volume times concentration. We have a very concentrated volume of acetic acid. When we multiply them, we get the concentration as being, excuse me, the, the moles as being 0 0.175. So then we can calculate the moles of acetate as being equal to 5.54 grams. That's given the mass. And then we multiply by 1 over, or we divide by the molar mass. And that gives us 0 0.068 moles. So now all we have to do is use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to calculate pH. So pH is equal to pKa, which is 4.74, plus the log of base over acid. So it's important here to note that we don't, if we're plugging the, the values into the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, we can use either volume, uh, concentration or number of moles. Because if we're dividing by concentrations, the volumes will cancel out anyway. So in this case, we get 4.74 minus 0 0.41, which is equal to 4.33 as our pH.